This section of the DVD is designed to give you a brief overview of the major steps involved in the process of freezing stallion semen. The first step is to collect the stallion and evaluate the semen. The procedures for collecting and evaluating semen for freezing do not differ from the procedures associated with fresh or cooled semen. An artificial vagina is used to collect the semen and it is evaluated for volume, concentration, and progressive motility. The second step is to dilute the semen in preparation for centrifugation. The semen is diluted to a specific concentration with a centrifugation extender that also serves to maintain a high level of progressive motility both during and following centrifugation. The extended semen is then placed into centrifuge tubes. The third step is to place the centrifuge tubes into the centrifuge and spin them at a centrifugal force of 400 times gravity for 12 minutes. This concentrates the sperm cells at the bottom of the tube into what is commonly referred to as a sperm pellet as shown here in this picture. The fourth step is to remove the fluid above the sperm pellet, commonly referred to as the supernatant, and then add one of two freezing extenders. In a test freeze, half of the tubes will be tested with one extender and the remainder with the other extender. In subsequent freezes, the one that yielded the best post-thaw results is chosen. The appropriate volume of extender is added to each centrifuge tube. The tube is then swirled or agitated to disrupt the sperm pellet and reconstitute it in the freezing extender. The fifth step is to fill the half cc straws with the extended semen. An air space is created by placing them on a bubbler comb. This space creates sufficient room for the PVC powdered plug and for an air pocket that is needed to allow for expansion and contraction of the fluid that occurs during freezing and thawing. The filled straws are then placed onto the freezing rack. The sixth step is to place the freezing rack into a styrofoam cooler which is filled to a specified level with liquid nitrogen. The distance that the straws sit above the liquid nitrogen allows them to be vapor cooled at a temperature of minus 120 degrees Celsius or minus 184 degrees Fahrenheit. The straws are vapor cooled for 15 to 20 minutes. The seventh step is to plunge the straws into the liquid nitrogen by dumping the freezing rack. The temperature of the liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius or minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. The eighth step is to select one straw for post-thaw motility evaluation. Straws frozen according to the procedures detailed in this DVD are thawed in a water bath at a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. The plug at the end of the straw is cut and a slide is prepared. The progressive motility is assessed and must meet a minimum standard in order for the straws to be retained for future use. The ninth and final step is to store the straws in liquid nitrogen. The straws are first loaded into goblets attached to canes or into larger goblets. These are then moved quickly from the styrofoam cooler and into the appropriate canister in a liquid nitrogen tank for long-term storage.